hey everyone uh, welcome to another video uh, in this uh, video i'll talk about uh, uh, vector representation of simple harmonic uh, motions this video or this topic is uh, related to uh, mechanical vibrations and uh, in this i will simplify how to reduce uh, the <coughs> velocity and uh, acceleration and displacement vectors uh, and understand them uh, more properly uh, first of all starting off with what is a simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion is nothing but uh, the to and fro motion of a particle uh, about a fixed point and the motion is periodic and its acceleration is directed towards the mean position and it is directly proportional to the displacement from the mean position so acceleration or the amplitude is directly proportional to its displacement from the mean position so saying that with that uh, we'll go into the uh, topic uh, coming to the equations so we know that uh, the displacement equation for a simple harmonic motion is x is equal to where x is the displacement a sin omega t in this uh, a is the amplitude of the wave or the curve and uh, omega is the angular velocity or the circular frequency you can call it and t is the time period or the time taken uh, that i have represented here in the first curve so this uh, the smallest curve is going to be that one and uh, uh, if we look at this uh, circle the smallest circle here similar to the smallest curve here i have represented that in a circular uh, diagram in this i have made use of vectors uh, so let us say uh, consider the smallest circle here uh, disregard the other two lines uh, consider this line so this is a vector of amplitude a which is similar to this equation here so where a is the amplitude so it is a vector of amplitude a or radius a you can say and uh, when the when t is equal to zero so when t is equal to zero uh, this vector is coinciding with the x-axis and uh, after some time t let's say uh, let's not give it a particular number let's just say after some time t it is going to make an angular displacement of omega uh, or, or the angular displacement of this vector is going to be omega t how did I come up with that? It's similar. Uh, it's similar to dis distance is equal to speed into time. So distance is equal to speed is angular velocity into time t. So that is the vector. And uh, now we need a velocity ve velocity equation, velocity vector. For that, you differentiate the displacement vector with respect to time. Uh, now, if we differentiate this display displacement equation, that is x is equal to a sin omega t with respect to time t. So we get x dot is equal to a omega cos omega t. So sin omega t becomes cos omega t. But uh, we know our trigonometric identity which says that sin of 90 plus theta is nothing but cos theta. So we replace cos omega t, cos omega t by sin of uh, 90 plus theta. So 90 is nothing but pi by 2 plus theta is omega t. Uh, here you can notice that there is a phase difference or a change in angle by 90 degree uh, with respect to velocity and displacement vectors and the amplitude also gets multiplied by omega so if we come to the vector diagram here in the circular diagram we can see that this is the velocity vector and there is a angular difference of 90 degrees or pi by 2 with respect to the displacement vector and its amplitude or the radius has been increased by omega times so this radius becomes a times omega and it is larger than this coming to acceleration vector you again differentiate this velocity with vector with respect to time so x double dot uh, you differentiate this equation here so you are you end up with a omega square cos omega t plus uh, pi by 2 again uh, as i did in the previous equation you replace cos omega t plus pi by 2 with sine of 90 plus theta so sine of sine of 90 pi by 2 plus theta theta is nothing but this whole thing omega t plus pi by 2 i have written that as it is 
so here you can see that the acceleration vector has a phase difference of pi by 2 with respect to the velocity vector so it is um, more it is 90 degrees more more than the um, velocity vector and if you add this pi by 2 and pi by 2 you get pi so you are you will be left with a omega square sin omega t plus pi so omega t plus pi this is the displacement vector so it is at a phase difference of pi with respect to the displacement vector it is at a phase difference of pi by 2 with respect to the velocity vector and a phase difference of pi with respect to the displacement vector so pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is pi uh, and its amplitude is going to get again increased by uh, you will get one more omega so it is going to increase by a omega square it is going to be a omega square which is going to be larger than this so you can see that this is a bit larger than the previous vector uh, uh, and this whole thing is or the distance or the displacement is the whole displacement is 0 to 2 pi that is 360 degrees um, and here pi by 2 this pi by 2 is the phase difference uh, between all these three vectors so if you look at the wave diagram or the curve diagram which i have drawn here where the angle is represented in the x-axis omega t and the amplitude in the y-axis you can see that the smallest curve is the displacement vector which has an amplitude of a and the velocity vector is the second curve uh, and it has an amplitude of a omega as we have seen in this equation here and you can see that there is a phase difference of 90 degrees uh, one constant is that all of this has to occur between 0 to 2 pi so this curve to fit itself between this 0 to 2 pi limit it 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 has to increase its amplitude uh, to keep and to keep a phase difference of pi by 2 coming to the third one which is the acceleration curve you can see that uh, again it is at a phase difference of pi by 2 with respect to the velocity curve and a phase difference of pi with respect to the displacement curve and it has an amplitude of omega square a uh, so and coming to the time period we know that time is nothing but a displacement by speed so we know displacement is the whole displacement is 0 to 2 pi so it is 2 pi divided by speed is the angular velocity uh, omega so that is time period frequency is nothing but uh, the reciprocal of time period that is omega by 2 pi and uh, frequency as we know it is the number of cycles per second um, if it completes one cycle in one second its frequency is said to be one hertz and uh, and one more and one more thing to notice is that for values of omega greater than one the uh, acceleration vector is going to be with the largest amplitude followed by the velocity vector and the displacement vector if the value of omega is less than one then the velocity the displacement vector is going to be having the largest amplitude followed by the velocity vector and then the acceleration vector so that is uh, one of those cases where omega is greater than one and omega is less than one uh, that's it guys uh, if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section below i'll try and answer that thank you